For decades, scientists have treated the Big Bang as an unshakable cosmic truth. Yet, evidence is starting to whisper that we might have been telling ourselves the wrong origin story all along. Brace yourself, because what's unfolding could rewrite the very first chapter of our universe's history. Recent findings have blindsided even the most seasoned astronomers, forcing many to admit that our neat, polished theories may be no match for the messy, unpredictable reality of the cosmos. Quote, We're here to let the universe show us how it really works, confessed Andre Kutso, a postdoctoral researcher at the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory, his voice carrying both awe and uncertainty. And maybe it's telling us, Aens, it's far more complicated than we thought. Every new image beamed back by the Webb telescope feels like another twist in a plot we thought we already knew. In one ambitious study, researchers combed through data from 30,000 young galaxies in the early universe, only to stumble upon patterns that simply don't fit the script of cosmic evolution we've been using for decades. But the story didn't end there. When Webb turned its gaze on 20,000 more early galaxies, the deja vu was chilling. Once again, the data broke the rules. The implication? What we've been interpreting as the expansion of the universe might not be what it seems at all. Some scientists are now daring to ask the unthinkable. Are we on the brink of a scientific revolution, one that topples the Big Bang from its throne? Could the origin of everything be rooted in something entirely different? The intrigue deepened when a fresh paper in Nature Astronomy dropped a bombshell. Webb's deep space vision had uncovered a colossal disk galaxy from the universe's early days, its light traveling over 12 billion years just to reach us. They call it the Big Wheel. Formed less than 2 billion years after the supposed Big Bang, this behemoth appeared when the cosmos was just a teenager, barely 15% of its current age. And here's the kicker. The Big Wheel isn't just big. It's enormous, rivaling the size and rotational speed of today's largest super spiral galaxies. It's three times larger than other galaxies from its era, and ranks among the most massive ever spotted in the young universe. By all accounts, it simply shouldn't exist this early in time. Our trusted cosmological model paints early galaxies as chaotic, lumpy, and underdeveloped, more like galactic toddlers than grand, graceful spirals. But the big wheel shatters that expectation, spinning defiantly in perfect form. And it's not alone. Webb has been quietly catching more of these ancient giants hiding in the shadows of time, as if the early universe had secrets it wasn't ready for us to know, until now. Multiple ancient giants have already turned up in Webb's deep scans, but the big wheel still reigns supreme, holding the crown as the largest early galaxy humanity has ever seen. It's as if the cosmos is bragging. You thought you knew my limits? Think again. But just as scientists were wrapping their heads around this anomaly, Webb pulled another trick from its sleeve, one that veers into territory far stranger and more unsettling. Because, in the same era of the universe's infancy, Webb has stumbled upon something that could shake not just astronomy, but our very understanding of time and space itself. The culprit? Dark energy. That invisible, mysterious force believed to be pushing the universe apart. For decades, we've treated it as a steady, unchanging background player. Now, evidence is emerging that it might be evolving, and that realization has left even the most cautious scientists rattled. The implications are staggering. If dark energy truly changes over time, then the neat framework of our modern cosmology, one rooted partly in Albert Einstein's own equations, could begin to crumble. More data is needed before scientists can make that claim outright, but even respected veterans of the field like Professor Ofer Lahav from University College London admit they can feel the tremors of something big. It's almost hard to believe how recent our awareness of dark energy really is. Back in 1998, the idea of the universe accelerating caught astronomers completely off guard. The prevailing wisdom had been simple. After the Big Bang, gravity would gradually slow the cosmic expansion, but observations from US and Australian teams showed the opposite. The universe was speeding up. Since no one knew what was behind it, they gave it a name that perfectly captured their confusion, dark energy. We still don't know what it is, but we can measure its effects by tracking how galaxies have moved away from each other over billions of years. Last year, an instrument called the Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument hinted at something troubling. Dark energy's push might have shifted over time. Most experts brushed it off as a statistical hiccup that would vanish with more data. It didn't vanish. 
After more than a year of follow-up observations and countless checks for errors, researchers like Professor Sashadri Nadathir of the University of Portsmouth now feel confident. Dark energy really is behaving in ways our theories never accounted for. Even more startling, Webb's gaze into the early universe shows that dark energy back then didn't act the same way it does today. Nobel laureate Adam Rees, one of the scientists who helped discover dark energy in the first place, has been struck by Webb's findings. The universe's expansion rate, the so-called Hubble constant, changes depending on how we measure it. If we look at the faint afterglow of the Big Bang, the cosmic microwave background, we get one number. If we rely on predictions from our standard cosmological model, we get another. This stubborn mismatch has a name, Hubble tension. And it's more than just an academic puzzle, it's a crack in the foundation of our entire picture of the cosmos. For decades, scientists worked under a comforting assumption that dark energy pushed the universe apart at a steady, constant rate, no matter where you were. This gave them a neat equation for calculating the universe's exact age and tracing its life story from birth to now. But Webb's latest revelations have thrown that cosmic certainty into doubt. Dark energy, it seems, may not be playing by the rules. Instead of acting uniformly, it might behave differently in different places, rewriting the idea that all parts of the cosmos share a single universal clock. If that's true, then some regions may have raced ahead in their expansion while others lag behind, changing not just their apparent age, but the very rhythm of cosmic history. To make sense of this, a group of scientists has begun championing a radical new concept called timescape cosmology. In this model, massive cosmic voids and dense galactic clusters don't just shape space, they warp the flow of time itself. Imagine, in regions crammed with stars and galaxies, time ticks more slowly. In vast, empty voids, it rushes ahead. An atomic clock nestled inside a galaxy could run up to a third slower than its twin floating in the emptiness between. Now stretch that idea over billions of years. In matter-rich regions, only 13.8 billion years may have passed since the dawn of the cosmos. But out in the voids, where matter is scarce, countless extra void years could have flown by, making these regions older than their denser counterparts. Suddenly, the universe's age is no longer a single number carved in stone. It's a patchwork, different depending on where you measure it. And here's the fascinating twist. Because time has moved faster in the voids, those regions have experienced more expansion. Look across one of these voids, and the galaxies on its far edge would appear to be fleeing from you faster than those closer by. Multiply that effect across billions of light years, and the illusion emerges that the entire universe's expansion is accelerating. But in this framework, there's no mysterious dark energy at work, just the natural consequences of uneven cosmic time. Back in 2017, astronomers at the University of Canterbury in New Zealand put timescape cosmology to the test, and to many people's surprise, it fit observations slightly better than the reigning Lambda CDM model. And now, Webb has added more fuel to the fire. When it surveyed 30,000 galaxies, it found something deeply unsettling. Most of them were spinning in the same direction. That might sound harmless, but according to the Big Bang model, the infant universe should have been a wild, turbulent mess, with galaxies forming and rotating randomly. Instead, this eerie galactic choreography hints at some hidden order, a cosmic pattern that standard cosmology can't easily explain. But this eerie large-scale spin alignment hints at something even stranger, that the universe itself may have been born with an initial rotation. It's a possibility so radical that it slips right through the cracks of our current theories, which have no room for a spinning cosmos. And yet, a few bold researchers are entertaining an even wilder thought. What if our universe was born inside a rotating black hole? Far from science fiction, this idea is tied to the black hole universe hypothesis, a theory suggesting that everything we see, from the smallest atom to the largest galaxy might exist inside a cosmic black hole's event horizon. In this scenario, our Big Bang could have been the moment a parent universe's black hole gave birth to ours. 